On paper, Nintendo Switch should be an ideal platform for Super Bomberman R. It can be played on a big television or portably, it supports up to four players on one Switch or eight online, and sticks to the classic Bomberman formula. And while there's plenty to like about Super Bomberman R, at 50 bucks, it's unreasonably expensive for what's included. If you've somehow never seen or played Bomberman, it couldn't be much simpler. Blow up the destructible parts of the battle arena in order to find hidden upgrades and use them to immolate your human or AI foes. But that simplicity is what helps make it a thrilling party game. Whether you're barely evading an enemy's bomb blast or trapping a foe in a corner to get the round winning kill. Super Bomberman R puts forth a noble attempt at an actual plot in the 50 stage story mode, complete with anime-ish cutscenes. Mercifully, they're easily skippable. Boss fights every 9th and 10th round are the highlight, with some truly tough opponents standing between you and the next of the five worlds. Jump in anytime co-op is a plus in this mode. The camera, however, does its best to frame the action by occasionally zooming in or out automatically, but gets annoying in the process because tracked enemies sometimes go out of frame or become obscured by the HUD. And playing on the Switch's small screen in tabletop mode doesn't do the tiny bomber avatar any favors. What Super Bomberman R absolutely gets right is multiplayer logistics. It can be easily configured to play in a number of ways on either one Switch tablet, one Switch docked to a TV, or up to eight Switches on Wi-Fi. That's awesome, and the Joy-Con are a good match for Bomberman's classic one-button gameplay, which, by the way, remains as simplistic and fun as ever. Less awesome is multiplayer depth. Classic Bomberman rules are in effect here, but not much else. You only get eight maps unless you unlock more variants using the cumbersome in-game credit system, and round customization could be a lot deeper as it has been in past Bomberman games like Bomberman Live. There, you could turn every power-up on or off individually to really tweak battles to your exact preference. Super Bomberman R's multiplayer versatility and boss-filled story mode are laudable retreads of classic gameplay, but its depth and customizability are disappointing. By contrast, Bomberman Live was a brilliant, fully-featured Bomberman for Xbox 360 that came out 10 years ago, and it only cost $10. It's reasonable to expect a bit more from a $50 Bomberman game in 2017. For more on all things Nintendo Switch, stick with IGN.